Hey, hey there, everybody. On the river here. Now. Now. Mm. Now. Oof. The last episode, we had a fucking nuclear bomb dropped on us. A giant nuclear bomb of just. Just information. Just a shit ton of information. I mean, we got the confirmation that uh, Oath Peak Academy and. Well, all. Like old Danganronpa and new Danganronpa takes place in the same place. I mean, the same universe. I was just assuming they weren't related to each other. I was like content in thinking that this is just a soft reboot without having to do it with anything with the rest of the series. Uh, sorry. Uh, come on, game. Can you respond? Hello. Oh, okay. There we go. So yeah. Anyway, I was just assuming, and we just got confirmation last time that nope, uh, you're wrong. And also, like more importantly than that. We, got, we finally found out, like, the truth of the world and shit, and everything to do with that. Everybody got fucking full of the spell, so we got all inspired by finding out our true nature, and the star of the show was fucking Kibo over here. He's the one that inspired me the most. Like, Kibo, you're fucking stealing the show right now, dude. This makes me scared something wrong's gonna happen to you, especially with the Electro Bomb being coming into play. I'm also scared Kaito's gonna die, and stuff like that. And also Kakichi revealed that he's the ultimate, like, the remnant of the despair, the leader of the remnants of despair, and like, um, basically the leader of the people that want to end the world. However, I still don't know why. I just have trouble believing that completely. I just have a feeling Kakichi's still lying. I'm probably wrong, I have no problem admitting I'm wrong, but I have an inkling, and I like taking my inkling seriously. Anyway. Hey, Kiba. I have a lot of d respect for you right now, my dude. Oh, Shuichi. Um. We must rescue Kaito, no matter what. If we were to, def if we were to defeat the despair and find a new hope for ourselves, I'm certain we'll need him by our side. Okay. Yeah, you're right. It's thanks to Kaito that we're all working together again. All right. Let's save Kaito and stop Kokichi together. This is the beginning of our new hope. Yeah, let's go fucking stop Kokichi. If he really is the mastermind. Probably is, but let's go fucking take that piece of shit trash human being down. Is anybody around? No? Okay, cool. Himiko, is it Himiko the one here? Yeah, I thought so. She'd be the one standing by Tenko's dojo. Yeah. I got so much motivation now. I can't wait till the Electro Hammer recharges. Well. Calm down, Himiko. If you expend all your energy now, you won't have any when you really need it. Mm -hmm. I see, that's true too. But who would have imagined that we're the last hope of humanity and this was a spaceship? I don't wanna. That's not right. Are they really gonna throw away the whole magic theme just like that? Uh, uh, mm. there was, was there a magic theme in the first place? Uh, poor, poor Himiko. Stuck in your <laughs> world. Hey, Tsumugi. Did you come out of your room because you couldn't calm down? Okay. Yeah. I, guess. I was the same. I couldn't stay still. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I hated seeing- just even though it was only like 10 minutes long, I hated seeing that depressed state. The way we wasted the whole day, just a whole entire day, we didn't do anything. That actually depressed me so much. Not doing anything with the time you have on the world is just so depressing. Oh, they fully felt despair. I was the same. I couldn't stay still. This morning, I barely had the willpower to get out of bed. It's all thanks to Maki. Yeah. I can hardly believe it. Maki was so tsundere in the beginning, is the one, the one putting us along? Isn't that how tsundere's usually work? Um. But it's probably because of Kaito's influence. Huh? Why do you think that? Um. You can tell just by looking. Maki's interested in Kaito. Otherwise, she wouldn't be watching the hangar the whole time like she is. Uh, okay. I suppose that's true. Huh? Are you shocked? Were you guys in some reverse love triangle situation? Uh. No, 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 there's nothing like that at all. Oh, I didn't mean to shock you like that. I just meant to mock you about Bucky. <laughs> um. I wonder. When we were at Hope Street Academy, did we have fun and tease each other like this? Okay. I also wonder if Onruby realized there's been a mouse pointer on screen the whole time. Well, we were in different classes, but I'm sure we had friends like that. But... Even if we can't go back to that time, there's still hope left in the world. I'm going to keep living with confidence till the end. Uh. That's my vow as one of the last students of Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy. I never once thought we'd be using those words in this game. Maybe I still would have preferred it if we didn't. A 
keep going, I should reach the hangar. If Kokichi is in the hangar, there's a good chance to exercise a patrolling nearby. I should be careful. Uh, we... Oh, we're crouching. This is like chapter, what, like the prologue all over again. Oh, I wondered what all these corridors were for. I wondered what all these corridors were for. Like... Like those, like, holes in the left and right. Huh? Huh? Monokuma? It's the first time I've seen him in a while. Are the Exosols protecting him? Or are they guarding... Are they protecting him or are they making sure he doesn't get out? As I've said, I don't fully believe yet that Kakichi is the mastermind. I don't know why. But why now and why all four of them? Kakichi is controlling them, right? So why would he do that? What if the Exosols are here? They aren't guarding the hangar. This is my chance. I should hurry, but carefully. I don't want to draw attention. Oh, no, don't whistle into the microphone. It never sounds good. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's the bathroom window. I knew this was fucking relevant for something. I knew it. The shiny thing in the middle. Oh. There's a window. The bathroom window? I can see in can I see see inside from here there? Oh god, I messed that one simple sentence up so much. I peeked into the small window and I saw a silhouette on the other side. Uh, Kaito. What are you doing here? Looking for you, dumbass. Kaito! Don't shout, stupid! Kokichi will hear us! Uh is he close by? No. I'm locked up in this bathroom, but Kokichi's just outside that door. It'll be bad news if he sees you here. He's got the Exosols with him. Yeah, that's true. Wait, so what are you doing here? Just wanted to come check up on you, dude. You are like my best friend here. What am I doing Not here? Not like my... Saving you, of course. You are my best friend here. Literally are. You've helped us so much. You've motivated us so much. Everything you've done here has been so much so helpful and you'll never know. You made Maki realize she isn't just some evil killer. You made Maki realize that she has some worth and she can be a good person. You gave all of us hope, dude. So, don't sell yourself short. Everybody would try and save you. That's what we're doing. What? By yourself? Yeah. No, I'm just scouting the place. Tomorrow morning, we're all coming to rescue you. All of you? Yes. It was Maki's idea. Honestly, I... I had given up. We had all given up. But not Maki. She did everything she could to get you back. It's because she believes in you, Kaito. He doesn't know about Hope Speak Academy yet. She knows that you would never give up. No matter how bad things got. Y yeah of course I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! <laughs> keep saying that, dude. Keep saying that. Keep that energy up. Keep it. Hold on to it until the very last breath you take. Keep that energy within your heart. Just rip it and never let go. And even if you did give up, nobody blames you. Even if the world has ended and humanity has gone extinct, I can't give up! Yes. It'd be a crappy story if the hero gave up so easily. <laughs> you are the hero. Yeah, that's right, Kaito. You are the hero. I may be the protagonist, but you're the fucking hero. Don't you worry. I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. Hope that's a promise you can keep, my pal. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I hope that's a promise you can fucking keep. Something I want to ask him. I don't care if he's overconfident or acting. I just want to hear him say, don't worry, it'll be okay. It's just... I'm happy you guys want to save me, but stay safe, okay? Yeah, Getting we will. Getting close to an Exosol is dangerous, even if you've got an Electro Hammer. Got it. Uh, by the way, are you feeling okay? Apart from the injury, obviously. Who, me? Just tell yeah, us. Dude, dude, just tell There's us. Nothing. Tell us what's anyway, wrong. Anyway, Kokichi should be back soon, so we better end our chat. Okay. Ah, okay, sure. Cool, got it. And hey, Kaito. About what happened with Gonta. Shuichi, I leave the rest to you. You trust us, huh? While I'm gone, you gotta support everyone. Yep. Especially Maki Roll. She can be reckless sometimes. As Monokuma, the Monokuma Theater, like the day before, the last night or the day before said, wreck, people are fucking reckless. Yeah. You're an impressive detective, through and through. You might not only reach the truth, but something even beyond it. And don't forget, you're not alone. Don't try to do everything yourself. It's only gonna wear you out. When times are hard, you gotta rely on your friends. 
Rely on your friends, eh? That's it. That's what I've been neglecting. I believe in you. So I'm leaving the rest to you for now. I hope I can save you, dude. I hope I can save you. I hope when I show up here tomorrow, you're not dead. You got it, Shuichi. Kaito, thank you. Thank you for being my friend. Yes, I understand. Thank you for being there with me throughout all of this. All right. Now, get going before Kokichi comes back. Sorry I doubted you at the beginning. Sorry I got angry at you throughout the whole thing. Throughout some of the stuff that happened. But thank you for always being there, dude. Thank you. I have a strong feeling this is the last time we're gonna talk. You're right. See you tomorrow, Kaito. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Alive. And well. So leaving Kaito with a smile, I return to my room. Hmm. There's no point in wandering around. I should stay in my room and relax. Try to get myself in the right mindset for the final battle. Otherwise, meditating on it. It became, it became nighttime before I knew it. Hey, please, save me from the exercise! Uh, um... Go at dawn. I won't hesitate anymore. Kaita has taught me. All right. I have to do it. To live. To find a reason to live. I will fight. I spent that night with that thought nestled deep into my heart. Don't panic. Just stay calm and listen. Hmm, what's, what movie is this a reference to? I don't know. I don't know. Point Break? No, not Point Break. No, no, no. Well, if you're watching this Monokuma Theatre segment, uh, it's already too late. Uh, kids might not know, but uh, to a hundred percent cotton mascot like me, hope is, well... The thought of these young people's brimming with hope, killing each other just to survive, watching their hopes fade away, there's nothing more despair inducing than that. My dear students, carrying humanity's hope, betraying and deceiving, killing each other, makes me oh so sad. But how I long to see everyone's despairing faces soaked in blood and tears. <laughs> I've gone and done it. What? What the fuck was that? Bing. I'm still missing, guys. Nobody cares, eh? Okay. After that empty announcement from Monokuma, I jumped out of bed. All right. Here we go, first to the dining hall. Grabbed the charged electro hammer and ran out of my room. Whew, I'm pumped up. I'm actually getting pumped up. I'm fucking ready to take this whole shit down. But I have a feeling that no matter how ready I am to take this shit down, uh, things aren't going to go away. Unfortunately, things are not going to go away. They never do. They never go away. I still don't know how many chapters there are in this game. This could be the last one or there could be one more. Oh, they're stretching this one out a lot. That's why, like, that's why I think there's not gonna be another one, because this one has been fucking long so far. Ding, ding, ding. We're all here. Everyone. Is everyone ready? Yeah. Of course, my electro hammer is all charged. At that moment, I realized one of us didn't have their electro hammer. Maki. Eh. Hmm. Maki, where's your electro hammer? Nope. I don't need it. I'd rather not use a weapon I'm unfamiliar with. Okay. This is much better. Uh, a knife? Hmm. Well, I suppose you know this. Hey. Then we're off. Hey. For look, we need five electro hammers. Because there's five exosols. We need five electro hammers. Because there's five exosols. Before that, there's something I want to say. I scout out the hangar yesterday. Huh? Scout out the hangar? Uh, yes, okay. I discovered that Kaito was trapped in the hangar's bathroom. I see. Bathroom, I see. Certainly is the best place to lock someone up. If I remember and I also saw. Hmm. Onokuma by the hangar being protected by four exosols. Is that alright? So we have to be careful that we aren't spotted. <gasps> oh, I saw that too. Huh? What, you saw that? Were you at the hangar too, Kiba? Yes. Yes, I thought maybe I could go t get through to Kokichi before we get carry out our plan. So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. What? Tried to talk to him on your own? Wow. Are you a fucking dumbass? I'm um, sorry, I thought it'd be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. Hey! How did it go? As I thought. It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. Oh no. But... Is Kokichi dead already? But I did witness a few things. Mm -hmm. What did you witness? Well. We can discuss that later. For now, I'll share what I saw that's relevant to our plan. For now, Shuichi saw four exosols that appeared to be guarding Monokuma. 
Well, I saw one of them enter the hangar. N no. Just one? Yes. Yes, the green XSL Monadam. If I remember correctly. The green one, I'm sure I saw that one guarding Monokuma. I... I made sure to stay out of sight while I watched. Neither the alarm system nor the electric barrier reacted to the XSL's presence. Creepy. Does that mean the alarm system and the electric barrier don't work on the XSL? That's right. Considering it's where the XSLs are stored, that would be appear to be a safe assumption. Hmm. Anyway, there are two XSLs in the hangar. We should be careful. We only have one chance. Okay. Since it's our only electro bomb, we can't afford to miss. You're right. It's exactly right. Hmm. Well then, we're off for real this time. Everyone. Let's go. We must end this killing game once and for all, no matter what. An energizer motivated. The group rushed out of the dining hall, one after the other. All right. All right. Here I go. I mean, we have electro bombs. I'm scared for Kibo, and we had that whole hydraulic press thing. That has to be relevant in some way, right? The hydraulic press moment. I'm scared all of that's going to become relevant now. Kibo's, um, like, I'm scared for Kaito, like mostly, and Kikichi probably also could die. But I'm also now getting scared for Ki Kibo dying. Like, he could be the victim as well, like, in some fucking twisted thing. Let's go. All sprinted full speed to the hangar. Fuck yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. Or am I? I'm not sure. Maybe there's gonna be some fucked up shit waiting for us. I mean, Nagito died in chapter 5 last time, so I don't think Kikichi will die now as a victim. But I could be wrong. Maybe we're gonna walk in there and he's dead already. Everyone must have gone to the hangar already. I shouldn't be late. Uh, hello? Hmm. Huh? Anakuma's not here. He should have been protected by the Exosols. And the Exosols are not moving. They don't look like we're gonna move. What's going on? <sighs> there are only three of them. There should be two more in the hangar. That's true. It's like Kipo said, we should consider ourselves lucky that there's only two. What's happening? All th if all five of them are here, it'll be possible to execute the all plan. Right. right, let's keep moving. Okay, what's going on? Something's wrong. Something is very wrong. Something is very wrong. It's dangerous to call for Kaito now. This will all be for naught if Kakichi finds us. Something is very, very wrong. Well then. Everyone is here. Let's get started right away. Mm. I'm ready. Are you okay? Makia, are you ready with the electro bomb? Hey. Who do you think you're talking to? It's similar to a grenade, except the detonation lags off bit after you push the switch. Once we roll this to the front of the shutter, it should disable the alarm system. Obvious. This won't fail. The electro bomb has an effective range of 50 yards and lasts for 2 hours. 50 yards? Isn't a yard like 0 0.9 meters or something? That's effectively like 45 meters or something? If Kikichi's remote control is disabled, we'll stand a chance against the exercise. All right. Let's stop Kikichi before he gets into the exercise. But be ready for the worst. We might have to use the electro hammers. If he gets into that exercise, I'll stop him with this hammer. Yeah, yeah you're right. What's wrong, <clears throat> Makiro? We're all ready to start, you know? True. Yeah, all right. Then let's go. What, can she sense the death or something? Maki triggered the electro bomb, then rolled it in front of the shutter. And then. And Kibo? So it's like a chaff grenade, 100%. eh? The alarm system is disabled. Now we can approach the control panel. Shuichi. Will you do the honors? Leave it to me. Alright, leave it to me. Okay, so Kibo was just not affected by the fucking. Hey. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and hit the panel with the electro hammer. It's not time to fetch dialogue out of us. Ah, uh, Lux, I'm still doing it. Hey. Don't be sly. If you're young, you need. If you're young, you need to move quickly. Stop fishing dialogue, Honorable. Hurry, Shuichi. Wait. Shuichi, hurry! We need to disable the barrier before we can go inside. All right. All right. If I hit the control panel with this. As I swung up the electro hammer, I suddenly noticed what's up with all the scratches on this thing? Huh? Huh? Control panel was covered in mask as if by damage by something sharp. Yeah, what's up with that? Shuichi, what are you doing? Hurry up. Okay. Sorry, I've got it. No time to think now. I aimed my swing at the control panel and I brought it down as hard as I could. Oh my. Electric barrier turned off. Everyone. Let's go. We all ran to the shelter at once. Oh, no! We won't let Kukichi do whatever he wants anymore. Yeah! Better be ready, this is it. All right. Remnants of despair end here and now. 
After opening the shadow, we burst into the hangar, electro hammers in hand, and what did we see? What did we see? To end this. To end this killing game. To end this despair. Uh, what what do we see instead? Oh whew. Kaito <gasps> oh, What? No, oh, no 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 Monokuma, I see you in the background. I see you in the background, you piece of shit. What? Body has been discovered. <laughs> A body has been discovered. I knew this wasn't over. I knew this fucking wasn't over. Kokichi, tell us if you're involved with Monokuma right now. Everyone, please gather at the Exosol hangar. <laughs> the killing game just keeps going and going. I knew this fight wasn't fucking over. <laughs> Kaito. Kaito. Whew. Fuck. Sorry, Kaito. I don't even know if you're the one that died, because that that fucking hydraulic press should not kill you. Because you're a living organism. The despair's not over yet. Oof. Voyage without passion or purpose. Deadly life. It's that what fucking Nagito music What's again. Going on? It's a fucking Nagito music. Oh god, this music always creeped me out. Chaos and madness. Confusion and turmoil. Couldn't stay calm. I couldn't keep it in. It's too much despair. Yeah. <laughs> is, is, that, is that blood? It can't be. Body discovery announcement. Does that mean someone's in that press? What? Who? The only ones in the hangar were Kokichi and Kaito. Must be one of them. Huh? What? The Kokichi or Kaito is dead? <gasps> oh, look. This jacket. Huh? This clothes. <gasps> Kaito. The Kaitos. What did you say? And uh, the one in the hydra hy that hydraulic press is. <laughs> oh. It's not possible! Oh, but it is possible, my dude. Looks like you have a lot of twists and turns to sort out during the class trial. Extreme. That's what this killing game is all about, after all. Now and then. so I'll pass out the Monokuma file. Nice. Don't say you're getting more of this, because things are about to get interesting. Now then. I hope you pour your heart and soul into this investigation, too! Hold on, we have to investigate? So this killing game is going to continue? Killing game will continue? <laughs> if the killing game is continuing and Monokuma is still moving, then... That's right. It means the mastermind Kikichi is still active. <gasps> alive. What was that? Kikichi is still alive and the one dead over there is Kaita. Uh, that's wrong. Oh, that's not possible. It has to be some mistake. No way Kaito would die. Has to be a lie. Made a run for the body when... Mm -hmm. Calm down. Maki's hand stopped me. Huh? Calm down? How can you say that, Maki? Kaito is... <gasps> I've seen so much death already. Death of both good and bad people. It doesn't bother me anymore. Wait! It doesn't bother you. What the fuck are you talking yeah. about? More importantly, where's Kokichi? Why? That's right. I don't see him anywhere. Should be somewhere in this hangar. He ran away. We need to catch him immediately. He's obviously the culprit. Mm -hmm. Let's split up and look for him. Leave no stone unturned. No matter how good at hide and seek he is, can't let him get away with this. No. Wait. Can't leave yet. Uh, okay. We don't know for certain if that dead body is Kaito. We haven't explored all of the possibilities yet. What? If it's not Kaito, then who's dead in there? He's saying it's Kikichi? Then why is this killing game still continuing? Why? And if Kaito is alive? Why hasn't he shown himself yet? Mm. Are you saying he's hiding because he's the culprit? Stop it. Don't say such a stupid thing. Kaito being the culprit is even more impossible than him being dead. 
That's impossible. I don't think Kaito would have could have killed Kakuchi in the first place. He was wounded, remember? Actually, and his opponent, the mastermind of the killing game, could control the exercise at will. How could Kaito have killed someone like that when he was sick and wounded? No. I don't know. I just, I'm just saying it's possible. I'm just exploring all possibilities. And even if it was Kai Kochichi that was killed, that doesn't mean Kaito is the culprit. Oh. Does that mean the culprit is one of us? Stop it! Wait, that's impossible! Hey. No matter how shocking Kaito's death is, saying we're suspects is going too far. I understand what they mean. The initial evidence suggests Kaito is dead, but I'm a detective. I just can't believe that. Or perhaps I don't want to believe that. I can't believe Kaito is dead. Um. Let's investigate. We need to find the truth here with our own hands and reveal the truth in the trial. Don't tell me. So you want to continue the killing game? Because... The class trial will be held either way. We should investigate. That's all we can do. I don't know if we'll find hope or despair, but we have to find the truth. It all starts there. An impressive detective, through and through. I not only reach the truth, but something even beyond. That's right, I have to do this. To keep my promise to Kaito. I understand. You're right. If the class trial is going to happen anyway, then we should investigate. Yeah. And we already know the answer. But... We can't die here. We decided to live for hope. But... My main concern is how Kokichi will react. We assume him... <laughs> Sorry. We accuse him of being the culprit. He just plays dumb and runs away. There'll be nothing we can do. But... No, I don't think so. Junko and Ashima cherished the killing game rules. So if the remnants of the spear worshipped her, I don't think they'd ignore those. Never thought we'd be using Junko as an example in this game. Then, then it'll be easy to deal with him. You just need to vote for him in the class trial. Yeah. That's true. I understand the others, but why Maki? Why is she accepting Kaito's death so easily? Well then. Let's review the Monokuma file. Is that okay with you, Shuichi? Uh, okay. Yeah. Not gonna tell us who it is, is it? Body was discovered in the Exocile hangar. The victim was crushed by the hydraulic press and is un 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 identifiable. That's all we get, isn't it? That's all we fucking get? <laughs> That's it, that doesn't tell us anything. The identity of the victim is unknown. Doesn't even tell us that much. I don't care. Doesn't matter, we already know who the victim and the culprit are. It's decided. The culprit who killed Kaito is definitely Kokichi. No. Wait, Maki, there's still it's still too early to decide that. Hmm. It's true that the evidence points to Kokichi being alive, what? but Kaito told me. Don't you worry, I'll do something about all this. That's a promise. All you guys are working so hard, so I can't just sit back and relax. I'm want to believe in the promise Kaito made. I want you to believe in that with me. Stop it. I refuse to investigate with you. Huh? Why? Why? You don't know? You're not calm at the moment. Right now you're acting like Kaito. Back in Gonta's class trial. <sighs> it was like at th this at that time what too, wasn't it? No, because we had the fucking evidence at that point and Kaito was refused to accept it. We don't have evidence right now. Can't fight despair with just belief. It's not that simple. Maki turned her back to me and left. Maki. Um. There's something about the air in here that's making me feel off. I don't know if the electro bomb is to blame or if I'm malfunctioning somehow, <sighs> but I'm starting to feel somewhat sick. What? I don't feel weird at all. Then... It's better because of the electro bomb. Keep us an electric appliance after all. <laughs> don't call me an appliance. Okay. Telling you appliance, you should go rest outside. <laughs> really, I am fine, but I suppose I'll go investigate outside for now. What's the song called? Sing the Empty Truth. Oh god. Kibo left the hangar, swaying side to side a bit. Mm. I, I think I'll start investigating too. Oh, will you be okay by yourself? I could go with you if you want. No, no, no. You don't have to worry. I'll be fine by myself. If the body is like that, then we don't have to worry about anyone messing with it. So it should be fine for, all, for us all to investigate by ourselves. Kimiko left in a hurry. I wonder if Himiko suspects... Huh? Suspects who? Um. Everyone. Because if there's fewer of us, there's fewer people who could be the culprit, right? Of course, it's obviously Kokichi, but like you said, there could be another possibility. Maybe that's what she's thinking. I don't suggest that possibility. 
Weapon might not be Kakichi or Kaito, but a third party. Anyone could be the culprit. Like we were united towards hope before all this, but now we're split up again. Could it be? That's why Kakichi killed Kaito? Huh? To disrupt our harmony. Because if not, then what reason would he have to kill Kaito? Maybe that's what this class trial is going to be for too. The reason Kakichi is going to hold this class trial might be to separate us. Separate us, huh? In the end, we're, we're all gathered around Kaito. He was the one keeping us together. That's why he killed Kaito, then we're completely caught in his trap. This is all part of Kikichi's plan to separate us, huh? That's exactly what he wanted, huh? We're split up. Can't get anyone to cooperate with the investigation. And we don't have much information to go on. Monokuma file had been, has been some part, but it's not... Uh, not it's nothing this time. But no point standing around and complaining, I just have to do it. Okay. Now I know it's fucking sad, but hit me. Hit me with this chapter 5 investigation theme. It's always been different in all the games. Chapter 5, it's a new one. Come on, I'm ready. Hit me with the fucking chapter 5 epic investigation theme. I just have to do it. Time to start. What's it gonna be like? Solve this mystery and find the truth behind it. I'm going to begin the investigation. Do it. I wanna hear the soundtrack. <sighs> Let's go. Oh. Oh, sounds just like a Karoshia from Danganronpa 2. I'll start here. Alright, I'm going to inspect every single piece of evidence here. Let's fucking go. Monokuma file this time barely has any information in it at all. Uh, okay. Yeah, it won't be of much use to us. Jeez. So useless, he probably shouldn't have even gone out of his way to give it to us. Um, I'm sure it'll be. We'll use it somehow. Oh, no mind. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, I love the ritual. Mascot's appearance at a murder scene brings a sense of sense of relief and a peace of mind. He popped out. What an attention hog. Of course, I want attention. I'm the mascot for crying out loud. And yet, I've appeared fewer times than that plain Jane Tsumugi over there. I mean, false advertising if I didn't appear as often as I can, you know. So what the fuck does that mean? Advertising? What advertising? No. Ignore it. Advertising for the game of Danganronpa V3. It's advertising for the game of the sk That's relevant. No, no, this is all fucking relevant. Is this creating another Danganronpa game? Let's just focus on the investigation. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to talk to you right now, okay? Where you are now, you might start accusing people because you can't believe Kaito's death. No. But that's not what I want. I don't want to hear your excuses or anything else. Just don't talk to me. Keep if you keep bugging me, Ray, huh? I'll give you a Hey, I I already have an afro, okay? I have enough of an afro by myself. My hair's fucking wild in real life. You don't want to mess with it. She's awfully stubborn. Is that she that suspicious of everything now? Or is there a reason she doesn't want to talk anymore? We're just all fucking damaged by this thing. So the car wash, we can still look at the car wash, okay? The painting machine. Okay, operation panel. The panel that controls the alarm system and electric barrier. I don't see any reason to turn them back on, though. There's an XSL right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well, the cockpit is, the cockpit is exposed. Hmm. That's how it looks on the inside, eh? It's small, but big enough for one person. I still think we're gonna ride the- Oh god, Monokin will stop fucking popping up. Oh. Mm, the hatch is open. How strange, when the monocubs can turn off the electronic lock and open the hatch. Huh? When the monocubs can open the hatch? Yeah. Normally the monocubs are the only ones who can pilot the exercise. Well. Normally being the keyword. Because of that electro hammer thingy, the electronic lock is all screwed up. Uh, um. Have you mentioned this to anyone else? Um. Nope. No one's asked, asked me about it either. And if, if I had been asked, it would have been irrelevant, and, irrelevant information to you anyway. Electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocops can disable. Which must be why the monocops can control the exosols. But if you could disable the lock, mm. you could control the exosol. Okay. Okay. The red exosol is completely still. Hey, it's dangerous see? there. If you go near that thing, you might get torn apart. No. Uh, it shouldn't move anymore. It's not with the monocops or Kukichi. Mm. Yeah, so it's just a pile of scrap then. Don't scare me like that. Maybe I should just tear the hunk of junk apart with my magic. Ah, oh. oh, but I suppose that if Kikichi was alive, you could move it at any time by remote. Oh. Why didn't you say so sooner? 
That is if Kokichi is alive. But the remote control Kokichi has for the exercise, what is it exactly? Does he have that mo because he's the mastermind? So, let's look at the hydraulic press channel. The hydraulic press is down and there's blood in the area. Hydraulic press is controlled by these buttons. If we use this to lift up the hydraulic press, we should be able to check the body. Hmm. Uh, I don't really want to do that though. What? Dude, fucking do it! Jeez, what? There's a sleeve sticking out of the press. It's definitely Kaito's coat sleeve. That came the case the victim must be... No, we can't save us. I don't want to do it, but I have to raise the press to inspect the body. Okay, then do it. Jesus. It controls me with the hydraulic press. It can go up, down, and stop. Should be able to use the up button to raise and press... To raise the press and check the body. Hmm. I want to see a crash body no matter who it is. But I have to do it. All right. I have to know. I made up my mind, took a breath, and pressed the button. Hmm. Uh, it's not moving. Pressed the button a few more times, but the press still wouldn't move. Why? Strange, it moved when I pressed it last time. After looking around the press, I found... Ah. Power cord is cut. I see. There's no power, so the hydraulic press won't move. Mm. Oh, this song is power. This is, like, the power cord is cut, but this song is power. Jesus. I'll have to listen to it on my own time, in detail. This can't be a coincidence. The power cord was cut on purpose. Must be the work of the culprit. In that case, we won't be able to check the body. I'm honestly a little relieved, but I shouldn't say that out loud. Hmm. Should take another look at the controls. There must be some clue there. In addition to the control buttons, there's an emergency stop button. The press would have been stopped instantly if you used this. Well, well if the culprit was planning this murder, they'd have no use for it. What concerns me more is the safety function. That's right, the hydraulic press should have had a safety function. If the infrared sensor detects a living thing, the press stops immediately, automatically. Well, it didn't stop when Kibo tried before. The sensor detected a person, the safety should have stopped the press automatically. Mm. Stop automatically, huh? So, was Kaito dead before? I'm, okay, I'm just gonna call it Kaito. I don't- I'm not sure if it's Kaito or not. I'm assuming it is, but was Kaito dead when he, um... When he was put into the hydraulic press? So he was killed in a bathroom? Or maybe he died from his illness in the bathroom. What is this, a blood stain? A faint trail of blood leading to the press. A swipe pattern as if dragged. Looks as if it's coming from the bathroom. Hmm. Blood stain suggests something was dragged from the bathroom to the press. Painting machine. Looks like a machine used to paint the exercise. It smells kind of like paint in it. It's the same as before, probably not related to the case. It looks like a car wash. I mentioned it's for cleaning exercise. It doesn't look like it's been used in a while. I don't see any clues. Let's go to the bathroom, I guess. This is the bathroom. Now that I think about it. No, I'm locked up in the sky bathroom, but Kokiji's just outside that door. This is the place where Kaito was imprisoned. Kaito might have left some kind of clue here. No. I oh, know, didn't, he didn't leave anything. He, he might not be dead. Anyway, I should investigate inside. I knew we had to investigate some shit in here. This place was too, like, too suspect. Excuse me? Excuse me, what? A crossbow? Small window, window for ventilation. This is... The same window from before. <laughs> Excuse me for that yawn. It's a small window and it doesn't open all the way. No one would be able to fit through here. Well. Uh, I suppose if someone could fit through, Kaito would have es escaped by now. Perhaps it's too small for a person, but an object could fit through. So did someone... Is that poison? Oh, it just says fucking poison on it. <laughs> okay. So, um... Kaito, did Kaito dip the 
points of the points of the crossbow bolt and poison. A small bottle in the corner of the bathroom, it's empty. If I remember correctly. I feel like I've seen this before. The label has blood all over it, I can't read it completely. But I can see the word poison. Could it be? And if it's his poison, this bottle must be from my lab. Hmm. It's taken from my lab. I don't know who brought this here, but it definitely has something to do with the case. Okay, what the fuck? How, when did this all happen though? There are arrows on the floor of the bathroom. Three in total and blood on all of them. Uh, um... What is this? What happened here? I mean arrows, just like in Dungarumpa 1 chapter 5. Crossbow, this is the one... Kaito bow, one of the crossbows from Maki's lab. Why is this here? Have I looked at everything? I have looked at everything except the monitor. It's a monitor for communicating with us. Body discovery announcement means the Mask Mine is still alive, but I still don't believe that Kaito is dead. Oh, okay, I did miss something. What the fuck am I missing? Oh, that. Okay. I didn't even notice that. Ah, finally! Level 69! The best level! Ah, time to be immature, I know, but it's still level 69. Ah, this case. Oh wait, what's in the black case over there? As if backing away from the conversation, Kaido he Kaido Kaito headed to the far shelf. No 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 no, you called it a bookcase. The first time you mentioned it was a you said bookcase. So you can't correct yourself now. What's in what's in it? Some kind of weapon? This is the same case from before, right? Large black case. What? What? What am I missing now? I looked at the trail of blood, didn't I? Or did I just completely forget about the trail of blood? Bloodstain. Hello, blood. Oh yeah, I, I think I completely forgot about the trail of blood. In the center of the room, and a swipe pattern from here to the door. Hmm. What could this mean? Okay, I completely forgot about the trail hmm. of blood. All right, I finished investigating the bathroom. There were more clues than I thought there'd be, and one is particularly concerning: the crossbow. Why is a crossbow from Marky's lab in here? And the three bloody arrows. Now oh, there's uh, bolts, because they're on a crossbow, they're bolts. Those arrows are definitely for the crossbow, but why are all three bloodied? And a bottle of poison. What could have been useful? Probably to dip the tips of the bolts into the poison? Hmm. Still, so you shoot somebody with the bolt, it won't kill them from the injury, maybe, but it will kill them from the um, poison. So much I don't know. It looks like it's going to be tricky. <laughs> Hope searching. Fucking power soundtrack. This whole game has had a power soundtrack. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, excuse me? Tsumugi, what are you doing? I don't want to talk to- okay. There isn't enough- okay, no, Is nobody mentioning the Exosol that's just suddenly in the middle of everything? There's an exercise right in the middle of the hangar. The hatch is open as well, the cockpit is exposed. So this is how it looks on the inside, it's small. But... Wait, is this thing in the same spot as it was? It's not though. It's not standing in the middle of nowhere. What am I missing? What am I missing? Operation panel? Okay, I'm missing something, very clearly. Hey, it's not the toilet. I talked to both Himiko... Talked to both Himiko and, um, Tsumugi. Wait, did I look at the trace of blood? No, yeah, I did. That's true. Okay, what am I missing? But seriously, what am I missing? I'm not sure. Oh god, this is the, probably the most embarrassing thing that's happened in the whole Let's Play. Look at everything I can examine. Something on the roof or on the floor? Traces of blood, okay. Washing machine? I've looked at it, but it's it. 
Yeah. Painting machine, no. Talk to Smoogie again? Saw red. What am I missing? Seriously, what am I missing? I'm, I don't know now at this point. I looked at the hydraulic press, right? Is it the cut? No, it's not the cut power cord. I'll check this again. Sorry about this. I don't know what I'm missing. I mean, I looked at this. No. Hmm. Oh, what? I had to check it again. I have looked at this though. I I looked at it. I looked at this thing though. What is this? The sleeve has a single small hole in it. I mean, I thought I was suspicious, but I looked at the sleeve before though, didn't I? Or didn't I? I'm forgetting. Sorry. I've already just fucking fucked up. <laughs> on the sleeve, what could this be? Okay. I suppose that's all the information I can deduce from the hydraulic press. I can't check the body, so I don't have any many clues to work with. Mm. Just have to find more clues somewhere. It's all about all I can investigate here in the hangar. There's still some questions, the truth is still far out of reach. Still can't deduce who the victim is. Mm. I need more clues, I should investigate other areas. We should start with the areas around the hangar. Sorry about that, I'm actually sorry about that. I mean, I thought I checked the, I thought I checked the coat. It was sticking out there. Alarm system is still off, it must be affected by the electrobomb. All right. I should investigate the space thoroughly, there must be some clues around here. Hey, dude. I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. I'm sorry to worry you, Shuichi. Okay. I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. What's something I need to ask Kibo? Hey. Kibo, before we went to the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. Try to talk to him on your own? I suppose so. I'm sorry. I thought it would be preferable for him to release Kaito peacefully. How'd it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. Uh, um, Said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Hmm. Ah yes, since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosol returning to the hangar. Okay. Said the Exosol could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. And But before I saw the Exosol, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. Huh? Saw someone? Um. I saw Himiko. Okay. I was in my lab, trying to think of what I should write to convince Kokichi. Himiko brought Kaito the crossbow. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hand. Himiko brought Kaito the crossbow. I think it was a black bag. A oh. black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But After seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. <laughs> you, what did you see? <laughs> Why? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect right. her. True, it is suspicious. Hey. You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at that time? Well. Now that I think about it, she didn't. She had her coming in, but not leaving. 
Has to be the black bag Himiko Cat was carrying was the crossbow. Um. By the way, this is a little off topic, Shuichi, but huh? what is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But, but it was. It was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction, such as hay fever. Which means... So it could have affected humans beings the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. <laughs> okay. Alright, that must be it. Sure, 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 sure. I don't think so, actually. No, no, it's because you're a robot, dude. So the thing Himiko said was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. He was a count. Nice. Shutter operation panel. There's a control panel that connects the electric barrier protecting the hangar. We hit it with an extra hammer, so it is an operation right now. That's true. That's right, what are these marks here? What's as if it's struck by something sharp? What could these be? Hmm. Oh wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel will cause the alarm to go up. They tried to scratch at it with an exercise? You have to turn off the alarm before you even get close. So how did the person who did this get near the control panel? Okay then. This is the bathroom window. It's the hangar's only window and it's not possible to fit through. I knew it. Maybe Ryoma would have been able to get there. That means the only way to get into this hangar is through the shutter. Okay. I thought all these like croppings and stuff were here so I could like um <laughs> so I could uh like you know hide from the exercise. I thought we'd actually have to start around the exercise. So Maki, the reason you didn't bring your electro hammer isn't because you didn't want to use it, it's because you already used it for some reason. Nice 2D sprite by the way. <laughs> Where where's the electro hammer? I can only see its shadow. <laughs> where is it? There's an electro hammer here, but why? And must be out of power. And it's out of power, it must have been used. But used for what? Yeah. Be careful, the electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if you use it against the Nexus, I'll run out of juice with just one shot. Got it? If I remember electro hammer's power is expended, requires 24 hours to recharge. We know that for certain. Okay. I remember the sight I saw yesterday. Exercise protecting Monokuma for some reason. Kiji said he was a mastermind, the Exercise should have been around him. So why were they still protecting Monokuma? Four of them too. Hmm. Suppose I was so caught up thinking about Kakichi I ignored Monokuma. Can't believe you did that. Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed I say! Oh. Monokuma! It's just I noticed that you came this way last night, Shuichi. Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy. Trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. No or you could just be a shitty place like the video store I used to go to and just have the adult movies out on the open. But you didn't need to sneak around because the exercise wouldn't have attacked you. Hey. What are you saying? We didn't have to sneak? Because yes. everyone's going to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone's going to, there is the Wait. same. No, not that. I meant about the exercise not attacking us. Yeah. Oh, at the time, exercise were on autopilot and directed to only observe me. Hey. Their um. movements are more limited now that the monocarbs aren't around to pilot them. Huh? Autopilot? You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Well. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So the exercise was being controlled by Kokichi remote Kokichi's remote control. But why were they? F but they were focusing on Monokuma. Hey. Why are you telling me all of this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. Hey, um... right, we're not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. Even if it's someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me didn't seem interested in sharing it with you guys. So, you share it instead. That way it'll be fair to all the participants. Someone... So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, renting movies is so old school. It's more thrilling to illegally download them. Just reading some stuff. Well... And Monokuma is still... Renting movies is still a great thing. I love, I still love doing it. Like, even in this modern age, I still like going to a video store and renting physical movies. Because you see, when I download movies, like... 
I can watch them whenever I fucking want. So I usually end up downloading them, downloading them and not watching them for like a month, months. When I rent a movie and I only have it for like a day or a week, I fucking watch that shit. I watch that shit. So usually renting movies is a drive for me to watch the movies I rent. It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter holding your breast during sex, what? This is the information... This information about the Exosoft could be a clue to solving this case. I should remember this. Okay. Exosol Yellow. What exactly did I witness here? I know for certain that the Exosols were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control. But why were they focusing on Monokuma? I was gonna say the same thing for all of them. Yeah. Oh, so there's still stuff to find here? Oh god. What did I miss? <laughs> Goodbye, level 69. We only got to know you for a short time. I'll miss you, level 69. You're the best level. Ah. What did I miss? What have I missed? Somewhere here? In this room? So I looked at the hammer, I looked at all three exosols. Hmm. I looked at the bathroom window. What am I missing? The door itself? I didn't examine the door itself. The hangar shutter. The hangar's shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. If you come near the shutter without the remote, a loud alarm would go off around the entire academy. <laughs> we had to use an electrobomb to disable the sensor and the alarm. That's how we got into the hangar. Me, he, he. It's not exactly a bomb, though, even if it's called an electrobomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic magnetic waves, so it's like a chaff grenade. I get it now. Chaff grenades, very useful in Metal Gear Solid games. Very, very fucking useful. Well, actually, Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. I don't remember. They weren't that useful in 4. I don't even remember. Did 4 have them? Anyway, it's not important. For 2 hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 hours will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have 3 of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to sell for the Electro Hammers. Now that I think about it, there were 3 Electro Bombs total. One was stolen by Maki, but what are the other two? Okay. That's about all of what I was concerned with in the hangar. I still don't have enough clues. There's... There have to be more. The place that might yield some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. The crossbow in the bathroom and the bottle of poison. I need to investigate those leads. I should also inspect the three exercises that were protecting Monokuma. But why were they protecting him in the first place? Might be related to the case as well. I mean, haven't I already done that? Well, I will, again. Anyway. Whew, I'll leave that part of the investigation for later. Okay, guys. Sorry. Uh, if the person dead is Kaito, I'm gonna be pretty, pretty sad about it. The only reason I'm not more sad now is because I don't know if it's Kaito or not. I really don't know if it's Kaito. It probably is. When, when that is conf confirmed, I'm gonna be pretty broken up about it. But right now, I have no idea what the fuck went on. Himiko's looks suspicious as fuck, though. Anyway. Uh, Hope Searching is a great song. Uh, from the few I've heard of it, it's fucking hype. And I'm ready to do this shit. I'm ready to take Kikichi down. If he is the mastermind. I have a strong feeling he isn't. That's why I feel like he wasn't protecting Monokuma. He was not guarding him, but he was watching him because he just, he's, I don't know why, I still think he's not the mastermind. I feel like he was watching him because he still don't, don't want Monokuma to do his usual shit, like, you know, like, manipulators and stuff. So I think he had Monokuma in the palm of his hand. Like, uh, I don't know, he somehow got access to the Exosol controller by himself or something? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't fucking know. I don't have any theories as to what happened. Oh, wait, no, actually, I do have one theory. I think Kite, whoever, whoever was killed, whoever was killed, was killed before they were crushed by the, they were killed before they were crushed by the hydraulic press. 
because the Who's Relic press would have um, would have not worked if uh, they were still alive by then. So I feel like they were killed. They were alive. I mean, they were killed, then dragged over to the hydraulic press, put under it, then crashed while they were dead. Oh, anyway, that's all I can say for now. We're at the final stretches of the story, and I've been loving this game. And even though I'm loving going through it, and I want to see what happens, I'm still kind of sad that it's all sort of coming to an end. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and bye.